Welcome back to my little channel. Now what you're seeing is the face of the Nevada governor, Steve Sisolak. I assume I pronounce his name right. And if I don't, yeah, okay, then I didn't. The Nevada governor is uh, of a democratic origin, apparently. I don't know if that means anything. And um, he decided on the 24th, so relatively speaking, two days ago, that um, he doesn't like President Trump and therefore certain things that President Trump said must be proven wrong. Okay, that's unfair, because let's be honest, he's a Democrat, so he didn't decide this a few days ago. The Democrats, well, most of them, haven't liked Trump since the day he decided to run as a Republican instead of a Democrat. Then again, he couldn't run as a Democrat because then he would have gone against St. Hillary. So that's probably problematic as well. However, President Trump spoke about how chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine could be effective in treating the coronavirus. Which coronavirus? Because there are lots of coronavirus. Well, the Wuhan coronavirus obviously we're not talking about SARS which is also a coronavirus but never mind we still call it coronavirus because we're not allowed to call it Kung flu or the Chinese virus which I can somewhat understand because I think SARS would also be the Chinese virus then wouldn't it hmm. but yeah no the, the Wuhan corona or COVID-19 which stands for corona virus I have no idea why the D is in there 19 so I guess 2019 because there are no other coronaviruses never mind off the topic so Steve Sisolak basically said okay it's an anti-malaria drug and it's not allowed to be used now you may think I'm making this up but um, <sighs> nothing could be further from the fact so this is from uh, the, the, the Washington Times, and I don't know the Washington Times. Uh, they say it's the right opinion, so it might be a right-wing newspaper. I don't know. I don't care. The news itself, however, is true. There are other sources confirming this. Link of this article will be provided. Other articles, you know what? Do yourself a favor and look for them yourself. The thing is, though, According to the article, Governor Steve Sisolak basically uh, ordered the restriction of use because Trump said last week that the FDA had approved the use of chloroquine to treat patients with infected uh, diseases like the coronavirus. Well, that sounds all good and well, but... Even if the FDA didn't. The FDA is not in the market to say this medicine you are allowed to use for this and that medicine you are not allowed to use for this. The FDA only looks at whether a medicine is acceptable to be used as in is it healthy, are the side effects acceptable but the FDA doesn't approve a medicine for something. But even if they did, though, and this is, this is the uh, annoying thing, even if they did, then, yeah, so what? Because, let's be honest, the FDA did approve chloroquine. But the FDA approved chloroquine at a time when, as far as I know, the coronavirus didn't exist yet. How do I mean? Well, this is how I mean. See, the FDA approved drugs, chloroquine, um, chloroquine phosphate and chloroquine hydrochloride, uh, were accepted for use quite some time ago. What they are talking about here is how they allow changes in the labeling and the packaging. Okay, fair enough. Let's scroll down a little bit. Oh, 
here we have the manufacturing of the substance substance okay so when is that uh, 1975 oh, all right and once again in 76 78 80 it seems to me that um, chloroquine hydrochloride has been accepted by the FDA for quite some time now because uh, 1975 that's um, yeah more than 40 years ago so to claim that something isn't allowed or isn't approved by the FDA yeah that's um, stupid so the FDA did approve the drug hydrochloride or chloroquine hydrochloride but they had to accept also the packaging which they by the way did in 2018 for the last time so that was the last time that they decided to change something in the text accompanying the drug like you can also use it for this disease or that disease which is information given to the patient but it's not something the fda approves they don't care it's not their job it's kind of like how uh, back in the day there was a drug uh, and it was supposed to be very effective to work against um, heart disease and blood vessel problems and they called it viagra and considering what it's being used for now that's not what the fda originally approved it for but you know what it's a known side effect and it works and there are no other risks to it so now a man with erectile dysfunction can try to get his doctor to approve him viagra which by now is also fda approved but trust you me that wasn't the case when people started using viagra as medicine to um, have a little bit, bit of fun in the weekends so yeah thank you senator steve but um, i don't get it you you don't want your people the people in, in in nevada to be using a drug because you don't like president trump there's nothing to do with the fda approving it or not because the fda had already approved this drug just not for the coronavirus so one could still argue whether it's going to be effective against the coronavirus now that's an argument i'm more than willing to look into but I'm not a doctor, and I'm pretty sure the governor is not a doctor. So if he's going to say, well, this is going to have negative side effects to people, then yeah, that's an argument to make. But then the FDA should have never accepted this drug to begin with. Or I don't want to give people any hope that this drug might work whilst I think it won't work. That too is an argument. But then again, it is rather authoritarian to decide what people can and cannot use. Especially because this is a drug that already has FDA approval. L let me put it simple. I don't understand the Nevada governor. It seems that he's acting purely, purely out of partisan motivation. Trump says this might work. Everyone who wants to try this, therefore, likes Trump. I don't. Therefore, no one is allowed to try this. I'm wondering how the Nevada governor is looking towards other treatments that are questionable, disputable. If he sides with the well-being of people or whether he sides with the ideological view of certain things the easiest one obviously being abortion uh, don't get me wrong it's not that i'm 100 percent 
in favor or against abortion, it's um, a precarious point. But I wonder if the governor sees it like that. Now, I haven't looked into the voting uh, statistics of, of the governor because I'm not into it that much. To me, the fact that he's being this authoritarian is problematic enough. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious what you think. Now, I am trying to grow my channel, so please watch my stuff and please comment and like and share. And the liking part, I don't care much about. I mean, yes, obviously, it's nice for me if you like my work, but I do like it if you share my stuff. So maybe other people will be reached as well. And if this is news for you, if you hadn't heard about the Nevada governor yet, then ah, kudos for me. Like, share and subscribe. As I said, criticism, as always, is more than welcome. And uh, I hope to see you back next time.